What's going on everybody? I'm Johnny Brook. Welcome back to another Crafty Workshop video. Today's video, I've got a really, really simple project. This is a quick one day build. These little triangular kind of floating shelves. I love the way these turned out. I used some walnut veneer plywood, although you could build this out of just about any kind of wood. And I painted the inside, give it a little bit of a color pop and I think they're beautiful. So instead of doing my kind of traditional voiceover, I'm just gonna walk you through while I'm standing right here in front of the camera since this was such a simple project. As I said, I built this out of some strips of leftover walnut veneer plywood I have, working on this huge modern credenza, using a lot of walnut veneer plywood, and had these perfect strips that were just about the exact size I needed. So my first step was to rip those to a width of about three and three quarters of an inch. Although if you are buying the materials for this, I would just buy two eight foot long hardwood one by fours, unless you do wanna build them out of plywood and then you could get three of these shelves, actually probably four of these shelves out of one two foot by four foot project panel. So after getting your materials, now you need to cut the angles. So there are a handful of ways to do this. I use the miter saw, which I think is probably the easiest way. But if you don't have a miter saw, you could use your table saw with a miter gauge. You could use a circular saw. You could even use a hand saw and a little miter box and come out with some pretty clean pieces. The angle you need to cut on both ends of all these pieces is 30 degrees. So set whatever saw you're gonna use to 30 degrees and then get to cutting. Now, since I'm using my miter saw, I can use my stop block. That was probably the main reason I did this. And a stop block is really, really helpful in a project like this. You want the pieces to all be the exact exact same size. That way they'll all line up really nicely when you're assembling them later. I cut mine to 14 inches long. Really that's totally up to you. Just depends how big you want your shelves. The first step was to cut the 30 degree angle on one end of the board. And then I flipped the board over 180 degrees, slid it down up against my stop block, and then made another cut. And this will result in two kind of perpendicular 30 degree angles on each end of the board. So now you've got your first piece. You basically just repeat that a couple more times. Flip the board, slide it down against the stop block, make another cut, and just rinse and repeat. So for three shelves, you'll need nine pieces. If you've got some scraps left over, you can cut an angle on both ends and make a little shelf. Although I didn't really want that in my final piece, just wanted to show you guys how that would work. Once the pieces were cut to size, it was time for assembly, which is really, really simple. I just used some glue and brad nails. This is the Aero Brad Nailer. They're actually the sponsor of this week's video. They make a ton of awesome fastening tools, including staplers, hot glue guns, riveters, and nailers, which I use all the time. And you've probably seen me use Aero products in the past, and you will continue to see me use them because I really, really like their products. This brad nailer gets a ton of use in my shop, so definitely check it out. I'll have a link in the video description below if you want to learn more about Aero. So I applied a little bit of glue to each corner and then added two brad nails just to hold them in place while the glue dried. The brad nails definitely add a little bit of strength, but it's mainly gonna be the glue that does the work in these shelves. After letting the glue set up for about an hour, I came back and filled all the nail holes with some walnut wood filler. This is Timbermate. I really love this stuff. You can get it in all kinds of different wood species to match perfectly and the nail holes pretty much disappear. And the other nice thing is it dries super quick so you can just sand it flush after about 20 or 30 minutes. And speaking of sanding, that was the next step. I sanded all of the edges up to 180 grit, especially if you're gonna use something like a walnut veneer plywood, you wanna be really careful with sanding because the veneer layer on this type of plywood is super, super thin and very easy to sand through. So I pretty much do not ever go any lower than 180 grit on that kind of veneered plywood. I made sure all of the wood filler was removed and all of the edges were perfectly flush and also slightly rounded some of the sharp corners and edges. To give these shelves a little bit more visual appeal, I decided to paint the inside of them. So to do that, first I needed to tape off the front edges of the piece to get a nice clean line. I just applied some painter's tape to the front edges, made sure it was nice and secure by putting some pressure on it, and then cut away the excess with a utility knife. For the paint for this project, I just picked up a little paint sample at my local hardware store, and it was plenty of paint, actually way more than I needed, and I just love this green color. We'll definitely be using it on some future projects. I think it really goes nicely with the walnut. I applied two coats of paint just to make sure the walnut was totally covered. If you're using a dark wood like this, you probably will need to use two coats of paint. After letting the paint dry, I came back with some spray polyurethane and sealed all of the edges and sides of the shelves, and that really brought out the grain of the walnut veneer plywood. So once all the finishes were dry, it was time to mount the shelves. You just use a couple of finish nails. If you're gonna hang the triangle upright, you use one finish nail in the upper corner of the shelf. And on those, I made sure to drive the nail into the stud just because it's only hanging by one single nail. For the shelves that were hung upside down, I just used two finish nails, one in each corner, and just drove those into drywall since they were between the studs. 
And with the shelves hung up, all that was left to do was to decorate them and the project was done. So this was a really, really simple one, but I'm really happy with the way that came out. This is a great beginner's woodworking project. If you're just getting into this, this is a quick, easy build that I think will leave you feeling pretty accomplished. Again, all you'll really need are two eight foot long one by fours or one two foot by four foot plywood project panel. And I'll have links to all the tools and materials I used in the video description below in case you wanna build this for yourself. Thank you all for watching. If you don't already, go ahead and get subscribed and ring that little notification bell so you get notified every time I put out a new video. And stay tuned for next week's build, that huge walnut credenza. I think you guys are gonna like that one a lot. So thanks for watching everybody. And until next time, happy building.